Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Randy from Ubuntu Fever and in this video I am going to show you how to mirror your Android device to your Ubuntu machine and how to record an Android screen and how to copy and paste files between Ubuntu and Android. So without further ado, let's get started. So for performing all these three actions, I am going to use a terminal utility called ADB. So before begin, you have to make sure that the developer option in your Android device is enabled and the USB debugging is also turned on. If you don't know how to do that, please click on the link provided in the description of this video. As I said, we are using uh, Android Tools ADB to perform all the three actions. We have to install Android Tools ADB in Ubuntu. So let me open the terminal for the installation. Yes, this is the terminal. So this is a, a command to install Android Tools ADB in Ubuntu. So I am copying this command from here and pasting it in the terminal. And press enter and provide the password. Yes, yeah. So we have successfully installed Android Tools ADB in Ubuntu. And the next thing we have to install ffmpeg, it's also a utility. So we have to install ffmpeg as well. So I'm copying this command and pasting it here. Yes. I have already installed ffmpeg for another reason. So if you haven't installed ffmpeg, you have to install it using this command. And uh, I have connected my Android device to my Ubuntu machine using a proper USB cable. So after I have to check whether my device is connected or not uh, in, in the proper way. So I am using a command to check that. So this is the command adb space devices. So I am copying this and pasting in the terminal and press enter. Now you can see that the list of devices attached here. This is my device. So my device is attached without any issue. So if you cannot locate your device here which means your device is not connected properly so you have to make sure that the usb cable is ok and you have turned on the developer option and you have turned on the usb debugging if the three things are ok then your device should list here ok so the setup is ready now so we can start the mirroring so this is the command to mirror the screen so i am copying this command and pasting it here okay so you can see that the command is adb space shell space screen record and uh, this bitrate uh, i have set a custom bitrate uh, normally i guess it's six uh, four mb now i have set it to six mb so that the video would be much more good quality and uh, yes that's it so press center from here and we have to wait until the screen appears i guess it would take less than 15 seconds yes that is the frame so yeah so let me do some actions on my screen you can see that the actions i am uh, yeah the actions i made are clearly you can see it on the ubuntu screen so let me open a calculator app yes it's working perfect yes you can see that the mirroring is working perfect so let me close this screen yes we have successfully mirrored our screen so the next thing i'm gonna show is how to record the screen now we just mirror the screen and now i'm going to show you how to record the screen so that the actions which we are doing on the screen would be recorded so this is the command so i'm copying this command as well and pasting it in the terminal you can see that the first part of this command is same as the previous command adb space shell space screen record and the bitrate also i have set to the 6 mb you can change it uh, to uh, 6 or 7 5 or lower number or higher number it depends upon you and the last part of this uh, command you can see that it's written slash sdk slash record.mp4 
so this slash sd card means the uh, internal storage of your android device and the record means the file name uh, or the name of the file uh, which would be created and uh, this is an uh, th that would be an m that would be an dot mp4 file so yeah this is it so press enter from here so once you press the enter button the video would be started recording so uh, you can ch uh, change you can do s some actions on the screen and so that the uh, that uh, the actions would be recorded so i am opening my youtube app and uh, i'm playing a video so i bought the iphone 6s yes i did some changes so to ha to exit from the screen and save the video uh, there's a keyboard combination the combination is control plus c so i am pressing my keyboard control key and c button yes so i got my shell again so the video record mp4 would be saved in the uh, internal storage of my android device so either i can play that file from my uh, device itself android device itself or i can copy that file to my ubuntu machine so in this case i'm going to copy that file to my ubuntu machine so that i can show you how to copy that file okay so that is our last section uh, copying so this is the command to copy that uh, copy a file from ubuntu uh, from android device to your ubuntu machine uh, so this is here you can see that i have written full command because we are copying from android device if you are copying to android device you have to use the push command okay so i am copying this full command and pasting it in the terminal uh, you can see that uh, adb space pull that's the command and this is the source uh, which we provide on the previous command and this is the destination uh, destination here i have set it to desktop you can set it to whatever you want so that the video would be on that location so press sender so the copying is going on yes the copying is completed now so my video would be in this location so i am changing the location listing so you can see that record.mp4 is here that means we successfully copied that record.mp4 to the desktop yeah this is the file record.mp4 so let me play it with vlc media player you can see that the video is playing perfect yes the these are the actions which i made on my android screen as i said the clarity is good yes i open my youtube app and uh, play the first video you can see that it's working perfect so this is it so guys we did installation of adb tools and mirroring and recording and copying that file the recorded file so actually this adb tool is a big tool uh, you can do plenty of actions using this tool you can back up your android device you can restore the android device you can check the logs of your android device and there are a lot more options so uh, you can check it later on so this is for the time being so this is for the time being Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel for the future videos. Thank you.